Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. Root I'll become. Okay, so first install Docker. I think you know that all this stuff, how to install Docker. So, tutorial Docker. This is the UR for Docker. The rest of this thing, I'll tell you. So, let's install the Docker. You have to do in the worker also same so typically whatever I'm doing in the manually right now actually you will create one batched images and everything will have in that image so you don't have to do that but just for the learning purpose demo purpose I'm showing you so you can automate this one all stuff like that and Sybil is one of the tool also for the configuration management you can use it I think uh, you can check my videos of Ansible on YouTube DevOps school channel so you can see that I'm enabling for next time starting the docker confirming it done so guys docker is done here now these are the things I need from the repository so I have one documentation created for this go to the devoschool.com slash blog search cubatium easy to find it and look for the cubatium in center s7 so one two here it is setting up setting up kubernetes cluster using cubatium manually You can use this one. I'm using in front of you, so you'll not get stuck also. So you should read this documentation. It's a it's an official documents only. From there, I have taken the content, but it's a crisp way, not too much of this, that, and all. These are the things, and all the same. Step number one, two, four. Don't do that because it's AWS. It's a VM. You have to change this. You'll start from here. Step number five. So this is a repository where all the tools are there. Just install it. 
so clear the screen and done and after that set in for zero and then make it the permission from enforcing this will this command will install all the tools whatever you required say install kubelet kubedm kubectl blah 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 Done, guys. You have to enable the cube CTL, cubelet. Done. Who will do all this thing? All this thing means downloading the image, creating a pod, creating a containers, certificate generation, port expose, connecting each and everything. So many tasks is pending actually. Who will do that? Only one Cube command ID. will do that. Cubedium init. Init means initialize master. Again, I'm repeating. Init means master. Master init. Init master. So running this. That's all. Master is almost done. We do not. Typically, whatever the steps I done did. You could have created our images previously or maybe some ansible and stuff like that you could have done it not big stuff hmm. Okay, guys. So now you see here, Kubernetes control plane has been sliced successfully. Thus, you have to copy this content. Why you need to copy? I'll explain you later. But you have to copy this content. So, guys, my master is set up. So this is done. Did you find any difficulties to set up a master? Anyone? Oh. Can I set up a worker quickly without explanation? Please look at my screen. I'm setting up the worker. Almost doing the same step, but except in it. Everything will be same except in it. Send to us sudo fns. Let me start the Docker. Thank you. 
Okay. Enable. Start Docker. The so. So I installed all these things, but you have to do what you know. Can you please read this? Only this one, the one which I selected. So in the in the master you run in it in the worker you run join that's all and the IP okay. address which you is a API server token some generated by you when you initiate uh, any cluster they you get it that did you understand that now so how many worker you want to join that to the master run this command in the join worker automatically they they'll join did you understand this mm -hmm. so let me run What is up? This you should be online. You need to install Cube ADM, Rajesh. Sir, I installed. Oh, oh, oh. Cube, oh, Cube ADM. I did not install. Ah, sorry, sorry. I think <laughs> my battery is off. I guess. <laughs> I thought I installed everything. Don't run in it by mistake also. Otherwise, you'll create one more master. This document, the one which I'm referring, it has all the description also, explanation also. You have to be a little bit slow and then read it and stuff like that. Hmm. No. Oh, sorry. See. See, 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 I was seriously, this is uh, not good. I was just running that one more in it. Yeah. So guys, I added the worker also. You are not able to see that, but I will have to set up a workstation. Done. You see here. So you do the same thing in 20 machines, 20 machines will be done. This can be done typically by the Ansible or something like that. This will be easier for you. I'm, I did manually. Now this is also done guys worker is also done now last thing is pending which is workstation where is that uh rajesh one question in the production machine mm -hmm. uh, which uh, who is responsible for this mainly some uh, hypervisor or something is doing who is actually doing this all things like uh, so new I worker yeah, I mean to say new this node I... uh, creation, new node creation, and uh, uh, this uh, like a uh, installing of this uh, 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 this queue pod. Okay, I did, that. I did manually. Sir. I did manually. If you want to automate this process, you can use the cloud formation on AWS, or you you use uh, this guy. What do you say, Terraform, or you use this guy Ansible. So this will automate okay. the process. Of Many tools okay. are there. Okay. I did manually, so you understand the flow. Automation is your in your in your mind and your hand. Okay. Now I did set up a master and I did set up a work worker, but workstation is pending. Guys, workstation need only kubectl. Now you know one thing. I'm I'm not discussing how kubectl works because I need a 30 to 40 minutes for this. But I'm skipping it that part. But I'll explain you uh, next session. But I want you to read this. See what they're saying to start using cluster that means workstation you need to run the following as a regular user so i'm running blindly right now in the master itself that means master and workstation master machine i'm converting into the workstation a reason i'll explain you later okay and but i'm setting up the workstation what they need i need this config file so i'm copying this admin.cnp in the config file and my workstation will be set up but how it works i need to explain it to you later 
okay so regular user okay so i'll go to the master right now this is my master okay exit i become a no normal user and simply i will run this command blindly so workstation it can be any other machine but right now i'm making in the master itself guys my workstation is also done can we check command i'll explain you all these commands get notes how many notes two notes but it's not ready now the question is why it's not ready i need to explain it to you when when i will add it one more time then i'll show you but it's not ready because of network is not there okay if you describe this you'll get to know that network with that you help you will read this so here this code whatever whenever you set up a master you get a code for setting up the workstation setting up the worker and setting up the networking also which network you want i am going for the one network we network but for time being but for later you can change the network also calico v flannel this that and all so many networking models are there what is a networking model networking model is like a kind of policy driver which works with the pod network so what we do in this case right now i'm copying that one of the weave network where is that here it is this url i'll explain you this you'll understand automatically actually i don't need to explain you you'll understand automatically what i'm doing once you know that once you know that how can we work with the pod and and i did this network also installed get notes not ready i'll watch it take some time hmm what it's not good ah ready so now guys your cluster is ready with one worker one master one workstation all i did just follow this document and all i did the i set up a workstation stole the network stole the worker uh one question uh, so the join which uh, gives you that ip address with that 6443 does hmm. that uniquely identify as a master on the no it's not master it is a, any guesses what is the ip address of this is a master ip address but what exactly the which component the, the api server api server api yes. server yes guys for any incoming and outgoing outgoing api server is the front end okay more questions guys please enroll our general membership for 399 plan to get access of all the parts along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact@devopschool.com at or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video to get our channel membership click on to the join button select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching